Hey there, it's Sunny D. Happy Wednesday. I hope that you've had a blessed day and that you're having an even better evening. I'm sorry for the late video tonight. It's a late, late video. I know I make late ones. This is a late, late one. <laughs> and that's because I was at Bible study tonight with my friends, my ladies, and, um, and then I was uploading a video that I made last night. I interviewed my good friend Tony for God Winks with Sunny D, and that's why I didn't make a video last night. And then I was uploading it tonight, and it took about two hours to upload. Go figure. It shouldn't take that long. It's a half-hour video. <laughs> but I encourage you to go and watch it. It's a great interview. Tony has a story to tell. He's actually really funny. You'll laugh along with us. And um, I encourage you to check it out. God Winks with Sunny D. Interview with Tony Z. <laughs> so I found something on Facebook today that I fell in love with, and I want to share it with you. Every once in a while, a ewe will give birth to a lamb and reject it. There are many reasons that she might do this. If the lamb is returned to the ewe, the mother may even kick the poor animal away. Once a ewe rejects one of her lambs, she will never change her mind. These little lambs will hang their heads so low that it looks like something is wrong with their neck. Their spirit is broken. These lambs are called bummer lambs. Unless the shepherd intervenes, that lamb will die, rejected and alone. So do you know what the shepherd does? He takes that rejected little one into his home, hand feeds it and keeps it warm by the fire. He will wrap it up with blankets and hold it to his chest so that the bummer can hear his heart beat. Once the lamb is strong enough, the shepherd will place it back into the field with the rest of the flock. But that now still young lamb never forgets how the shepherd cared for him when his mother rejected him. When the shepherd calls for the flock, guess who runs to him first? That's right, the bummer sheep. He knows the shepherd's voice intimately. It is not that the bummer lamb is loved more. It just knows intimately the one who loves it. Again, it's not that it's loved more. It's just that the bummer tends to believe it because believe it because it has experienced that love one-on-one. -on -one. So many of us are bummer lambs, rejected and broken, but he is the good shepherd. He cares for our every need and holds us close to his heart so that we can hear his heartbeat. We may be broken, but we are deeply loved by the good shepherd. Is that cool or what? I just love that whole analogy, that whole story, and you know, it makes me think of Reckless Love. That's probably the song I'm going to play with this, where he goes after the one sheep, you know, the one, the broken one. And, um, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about the one. And I know that I've definitely felt rejected before. Um, I've dealt with a lot of rejection in my life, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, once I met the Lord, though, once I really built that relationship, it's like, Nothing I can, expect, nothing that I can explain. I really can't. You have to experience it yourself to know. But um, he is my shepherd, and I love him, and I look for him, and I take the time to get to know his voice, and it makes such a difference in my life. So if you're, you know, feeling rejected, if you're feeling alone, or like a black sheep, you know, just know that there is the one who loves you. He created you. He loves you with an everlasting love and um, seek him. That's all I can tell you. Seek him. Get to know him and your life will be changed for the better. So thanks for listening. I hope you have a blessed night and please don't forget, love God and love others.